Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how I create my cover art. My name is Kaluluwin and just before we start I want to thank you guys for all of the support recently on my channel and Instagram. So if you guys do find this useful be sure to subscribe and let's get to it. So the first step is to find a stock image. The reason why I use stock images is because you can't really get copyrighted for it. So find one and move on to the next step. People think you need Photoshop to be good at Photoshop and stuff, but honestly, I just use Pixlr. So once you get to Pixlr, go ahead and click create a new image. And when you're creating cover art, it's always square. So I normally use a thousand by a thousand or 800 by 800. So today I'm going to use 800 by 800 and I'm going to turn on the transparency. Alright, so I'm gonna use this image and the way you put in an image is you go to layer and you click open image as layer. So when you do put in your image, it's gonna be too big to fit the like screen. So if you guys wanna shrink it down, click edit and free transform. When you're shrinking it or enlarging it, you don't want to distort it. So the way you fix that is you hold shift and you just click and drag. And just find any spot you want to put the picture at. Once you have the picture, you guys want to move on to the next step, which is deciding if you want to put on a blur for the background or not. So in this case, I'm going to put on this blur. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I'm going to really just mix it together so I can put something else on the screen. All right, I'm going to put on this controller and if you guys do decide to put on something else in front of the background and it's not transparent like this go ahead and click this wand tool over here and click somewhere on the picture where you want to remove it and once you do click it you want to just click delete on your keyboard and it will just delete the other parts that you don't want if it's still showing up like this just click off of the picture where you had it and i'm just gonna recenter this to about right there so next I actually do the edges now you're probably like why what is the edge and basically I'm just gonna give it an effect so the way you want to do that is click on this drawing tool and click on this color selection before you actually do that click new layer so you can just eyeball this out I'm just gonna make it like this it doesn't have to be super even but try to make it as even as possible after that you click on filter and this blur again that I'm not gonna try to pronounce and I normally just turn that up all the way and it just gives it a nice out edge look I guess now I actually do the words and stuff outside of Pixlr and I do it all in Canva. Once you make it to this screen, you just want to click create a design and you can pick from any selection. I'm just going to click over here. Once you get in, you want to pick any template you want. Now some of them aren't free, so be careful for that. So if you guys did like the picture you had before, you guys can just upload it to Canva and drag it into as the background. So once it's done uploading, you guys can go ahead and drag it into the background like that. And from here, everything is laid out for you, so you don't need to realign anything. Pixlr doesn't have like grids that it will lock to, to center everything. From here, you can just name it and just adjust it, or it will auto adjust for you. Sometimes you just click off the box. So once you're done with the picture, you can just click download and it will download it for you. So if this video did help you out or you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video or subscribe and Thank you guys for watching and yeah, have a good day.